Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to Geeks and Gamers Play, and without a doubt, one of the biggest games of this year was Elden Ring. Now, we're a few days away from God of War Ragnarok, so we'll see how that goes down. But up until now, it's a pretty safe bet to say that Elden Ring has a strong contender for Game of the Year. In fact, Elden Ring has boosted Katakawa's gaming profits by over 1,100%. That is astronomical. So Elden Ring, which launched at the start of the year in February, has been a resounding success, to no one's surprise, of course. So the latest hit from From Software, the developers behind Dark Souls franchise and Sekrio, managed to top 16.6 .6 million sales by August. That's impressive in itself. And likely has sold us lots since then. From Software aren't the only ones being benefited from the game's massive success. Their parent company, Katakawa Group, revealed in their quarter two 2022 financials just how much the game's success has generated income for their gaming division. So the Gothic ARPG ranked in revenue to the tune and operating profit increase of, like I said, 1100% really. That's correct. They didn't just improve two or threefold, which would be impressive on its own. But instead, they've gone beyond that with increasing over 10 times compared to last year. That's massive, really. Their operating income this year managed uh, 7.592 billion yen, which translates to about $51.785 million in US money. So the latest year has only generated 623 million yen in operating profit. This is certainly good news for the company and the publisher Bandai Nemco, uh, who considers Elden Ring to be a franchise which they hope to continue to have released for Beyond Games. So Elden Ring's success also puts more into context behind the Sony and Tencent putting a combined 30% stake in From Software. So that I still think is a bit of an issue within itself. Sony and Tencent getting that much involved. Oh man, look, I don't want to be a Debbie Downer, but that's a high chance that it could increase to the quality of these games dropping big time. But time will tell with that one. Uh, they are most certainly interested in developers' ability to create blockbuster hits and in some claim insanely popular Elden Ring. This increase in their gaming profits on the year also likely helped Katakawa's acquisition of Anime News Network earlier this month, probably. Ugh, yikes. Oh, uh, well, they kind of deserve it, in my opinion. But there we have it. So Elden Ring, it's done incredible across the board. And like I said, has a very strong chance of going for Game of the Year. But God of War Ragnarok's just around the corner as well. So we'll see how that one all goes with it. But you tell me, what did you guys think of this? Let me know in the comment section down below. Are you worried about Tencent getting more involved with From Software? Be sure to subscribe to Geeks and Gamers Play and check out geeksandgamers.com. And I'll see you all in the next video.